So far, we built this blazing fast CAS system that went under 5 milliseconds. But what happens when someone places a new order? I'm Harris from Laravel News, and today we're keeping our CAS fresh with smart invalidation. Let's get right to it. Right now, in our flexible CAS service, we have our CAS keys. And right now, our CAS keys include current hour to help us with the expiration. This means that if an order comes, for example, at 2.01 p.m., we're showing stale data until 3 p.m. So let's see the problem in action. We're gonna go to our routes file again, scroll down. We'll remove the old test memo duplicate here, and we will add another testing route. Let's import the service here. Let's go and see line by line what this does. First line, we have the service, memo is cut service. In our next line, what we have is, we have this service and we call dashboard report. We pass month as a period and we get the before part, which means that we don't have the new order yet. Then we go ahead and using our factory, we will create a new order. We mark this as completed and we send the total to 1000. We also add the created at. Then once again, we go dash report in our service. Again, we pass the month as period and this is after we create the new order. We have the before total, which shows what we have before our order. And then after total, that will show us exactly what happens after the new order comes in. And last but not least, what we're going to have down here is a Boolean. We are going to check between the, summer, the total revenue before and the total revenue after, just to showcase that it's still the same. And we do have an issue with invalidation. Let's test our endpoint. Let's copy that, test stale cast endpoint Let's go to our browser and run the test and we can now see the issue here so before the total was this much and as you can see even after creating the order we still have the same total and the boolean is set to true the totals are the same even though we added one thousand dollar worth of order so the cast doesn't know about the new data we need to fix that before we invalidate Let's recall our CAS architecture from episode 8 and episode 9. We built two layers. So in episode 8, we built flexible CAS service, which is persistent CAS. And in episode 9, we built memoized services. When users hit our dashboard, memoized CAS service checks in memory CAS first, then falls back to flexible CAS service. So when we invalidate, we need to clear both layers. Here's what we need to clear for complete validation. First, we would like to clean memo, dashboard, and then month. That's the first key. Then our second key is dashboard, month, then the year, month, day, and then the hour. Let's say 14. Then we do have a couple of keys. One of them holds the metadata that and tracks when CAS key is created. This will be something like illuminate CAS flexible created dashboard month, and then again, year, the month, the day, and the hour. The second key we would like to clear is the lock key. The lock key will look something like this, illuminate CAS flexible lock, and then again, dashboard month, and the pattern is the same. If we only call CAS forget on the primary key, the metadata will linger around and will probably cause issues. So we need to clear all three flexible CAS keys plus the memoization key. First, let's go back to our flexible CAS service and let's fix some small inconsistencies in our CAS keys. If you scroll down to daily breakdown, you'll notice that we don't have a column here. So let's go ahead and add one. The same thing needs to happen for the average order by customer. So come here, column, as you can see, in the database summary function, for example, the key here, we do have a column already. So let's make them be more consistent. Now, all our CAS keys follow the same pattern with consistent separators. Let's move on now and create our new CAS in the validation service. So let's create a new class, call it CAS, invalidation service. And here we create some functions in order to clear all CAS keys. First, let's create a public function that we're going to use, which is going to be called clear 
dash broadcast and then we pass the period string set to month like we mentioned earlier we would like to clear all cast keys forget let's import cast facade the first key as you remember is memo dashboards and then we have the period let's check that out let's make these double quotes so we don't have to concatenate a string perfect we would like to clear the main dashboard cast so let's build the key so dashboard key equals dashboards so we have the period and then we do have the timestamp year month day and then the hour and we're going to use that so our flexible cast needs to clear three different keys let's do a cast to get the first one is actually the cast key so we forget the cast key and then we have two more keys as you remember we need to forget the illuminate cast flexible created let's go back to our file and get them here Illuminate cast flexible created let's get that here and we also need the dashboard key in this case as well last but not least we need to do the same but for our lock one so illuminate cast flexible lock and then we again pass the dashboard key perfect we can even extract these in a separate function so let's do that let's extract this to a function for a private function we're going to call this invalidate flexible cast so we have them separated let's move on to our next thing we need to invalidate and this will be the database summary cast if you remember the database summary cast does have a different key so let's go ahead and do that down here let's figure out a key database key will be database then we have the period and then we have again the year the month the day and the hour let's call the exact same function we built earlier so invalidate flexible cast and we pass the database key this time so let's do it like this the last thing that we're left in order to clear are the top customers the daily breakdown and the average orders per customer I'm gonna do the exact same thing but with the magic of screencasting I'm gonna pause here and see you in one second so we are back as you can see we wrote all three cast keys that we need to also clear in this case the top customers the daily breakdown and the average orders per customer but let's say that we might have more than one period right at the moment we have month only but let's say that we might have week or day as well so we might like to clear them all at the same time in order to achieve this let's have another function down here we're going to call this clear all dashboard cast and in that we're going to call the clear dashboard cast three times but each time we have a different period so we have the month obviously we also like to have today and we would also like to have week so this service knows about all our cast keys both the memoization layer and all three flexible cast keys now let's automatically clear our cast when orders change what we're going to do about that is we're going to create an observer let's go up here up let's create a new directory we're going to call this one observers and we're going to create a new class called order observer yes in our observer we're going to have three different functions because we would like to accommodate for three different states the first one is when the order is created the second one will be for when the order is updated and last one is deleted before moving on adding the implementation for our functions the first thing we would like to do is add a constructor so to a public function constructs and then we are going to have our cast invalidation service in here let's import that let's add our property so cast invalidation service and keep in mind that we are going to convert all these to the latest PHP versions later on using rector so keep that in mind and keep an eye for our future episodes about that so let's continue we're gonna do this cast service equals cast service let's rename that cool how are we going to identify what to clear and when so we will clear the relevant period cases based on order date let's go and create an if statement so if 
before we do that, we need to import our order here. Let's import the class as well. So if our order has a created ad set to today, then what we're going to do is we're going to clear the broadcast for today. So this cast service clear the broadcast for today. Pretty straightforward. Then we're going to do something similar for the week. So if our order is created at is the current week, we do the same for the week. And last but not least, we're going to do exactly the same for the month. So if our order created at of our order is of the current month, it's called the clear dash broadcast for the month. And this is for when our orders are created. Move on to the updated. First thing, again, let's import our order model. The only reason we would like to do that, clear the cast when our order is updated, is when we have meaningful fields changed. Meaningful fields in this case might be the status or the total. So if our order is dirty means that those fields that we check for have changed. Let's check for two fields in this case. So if status or total changed in this case and are considered dirty, then we will do exactly the same thing as in the created function. So we just call that and pass the order in this case. Instead of writing everything again, we just use the created function. And last but not least, when we delete an order, what happens in this case? We do call the created function as well, and we need to pass the order that we didn't import yet. So let's import our order, and that's it. It looks very clean in this case. So the observer watches for order changes and clears only the affected period classes. So let's register the observer. Let's go to our order model. Let's go up top. And we don't only need the collected by here, but we're also going to use the observed by. So observed by order observer. Perfect. We are now good to go. Let's test our automatic invalidation. So we'll use memoization cast service to see the full stack in action. Let's go to our routes file again, one more time. Let's remove the old stale thing. So we now have a new test route. We have our memoized cast service. Again, we do the exact same thing like our previous test route. We call dashboard report for month. We create a new order. We call it again. And Let's check it out. Go back to our dashboard called test invalidation. As you can see, it did work. We got our order total to increase by 1000. So the after total is increased by 1000, exactly what we're looking for. So the CAS updates now immediately. The new order is reflected right away because we clear both the memoization and flexible CAS layers. Let's go and check telescope now. Let's go down, let's go to our cache, see here, when we create the order, you'll see that multiple cache forget calls down here. We have one for memorization, three for flexible cache. We have the primary, the metadata and the log, and the next dashboard report call rebuilds everything fresh from the database. We now have a complete caching system, fast performance with flexible cache and memorization, plus smart validation that keeps data fresh. The CAS automatically updates when orders change and we can manually clear it when testing. In the next episode, we will do some CAS warming strategies to preload your CAS. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to Laravel News, hit this like button and this hype button in your mobile app and see you in the next one.